Coming up in the Round 15 preview AFL Today show, we are breaking down a whole bunch of news and every single game this round. We've got big calls. We've got a bunch of other fun stuff. Stats guy, what's your favourite part? Well, I can't believe we're both tipping North Melbourne and a bit of Harry McFive, uh, your favourite tip of the week. <laughs> My favourite part was how the AFL like apparently just killed a guy in the in-memoriam of the Hall of Fame. What that the hell? Weird. <laughs> anyway, we talk it all out. Check it out right now. I will. Uh, <laughs> Keep an eye on. What are we looking forward to this weekend? What are we looking at? So a lot of this for me was like literally the Blues proving that if they can actually, you know, stomp a good team. Mm -hmm. And then not not just fall over the line as well. Not just fall over the line. Yep. Like they did a really good job of that against Essendon. They get the week off. Yes. Happy days, right? But the way that Geelong controlled that game that last time they played was really, really worrying at the time. Carlton have sort of fixed a couple of the things about them since then. I need them to come out and just win that game yep. pretty handily. That'd be really nice. Because it's sort of like this becomes like one of those lines where you go, okay, are you a legit contender who can stay in the top four? Yep. Are you? Don't know. Question mark, yeah. right? You beat a team like Geelong right now at this point of the season, you have a really good chance of being a top four team. So yep. uh, no, the call. Cats, same sort of flip side, right? Like if they can turn this around, like they are still – Alive. They need they a bit of confidence, not just their fans. The, the players just go, need to go, we can win, but yep. they just haven't had that last couple months. Uh, keep an eye on Joel Amati with no Sam Taylor and GWS. Four. Six plus. Amati party. Uh, if the Ds can actually prove they won't dramatically drop down the ladder. I just chucked this in there because I, I, I wrote dramatically drop down the ladder. They already have because they're 11th. Yep. But like if they lose this uh, this week, kind of have a quick look at the ladder. Because they'd be 7 I, and 7. They'd be 7 and 7. I'd be backing Hawks, Brisbane, Possibly, maybe not Saints, but they could go down to 13th, 14th, which would be a horror drop off from a finals team that has just been around for the yeah, last Petrarca. five years. Oof. No good. And really, Port, can you not be fraud Adelaide? Yep. Simple as that. The Port Adelaide fraud, fraud, frauds. I love this. It's just, <laughs> I just want to see if you're any good. Can you just give us a week where you just they got like, their players back? Yeah. If you like the vibe of this AFL Today show, I'll tell you what, make sure you subscribe. Like, comment, do all the good stuff. The full shows are unreal. Check it out. Go on, do it now. Do it. <laughs>